All right, welcome back, everybody. We are going to do a pod review today on this pepper right here, and this is called the Ahi Malacatan. Okay, I got the Bolivian yellow here, and that is called the Ahi Malacatan. Now, I've done a video last year, and I called it Bolivian Cream because these seeds came from a pack of uh, Bolivian orange. So I got Bolivian orange, Bolivian cream, and Bolivian yellow out of the package. So I wasn't sure, you know, if these were legitimate, um, you know, or maybe they just got the seeds crossed up and they mixed them all together. So what I did was I went out and I bought the Ahi Malacatan, and that's what this is. We're growing it from seed. And it it's pretty much the same thing as far as I'm concerned, okay? That's the same thing as what I was calling Bolivian cream. So it's very possible they just mixed up the yellow, the cream, and the red in one, or the orange in one package. And that's what I ended up with. So I called it Bolivian uh, cream. But they're basically almost the same peppers. Again, they're like the yellow version. Here's the cream version. And that's basically what it is. So I just wanted to proof it out and see if that is what it is. And it seems to be the same exact thing. So, but what I'll do is, is I'll offer this as Ahi Malacatan on the website. So the name is specific to the seeds that I bought. But as far as I'm concerned, it's basically the same pepper. Or it is the same pepper. So I have a couple here that I picked off earlier. And they are ripe. Maybe a little getting on an overripe side. I may have to bite to spit the end off on that. But yeah, they make some great looking peppers here. And I, I picked them early because I want to make sure for the video they were, you know, ripe. Uh, ripe enough for me. So, because these don't, these these ripen that very strange way. They just, they kind of, like, they basically get kind of, they, they go like a green stage, right? That's the way they are when they come out. Or they're a darker green than that. Then they turn it as a lime green. And then as they ripen, it still stays kind of green in areas. But that could stay like that for a while. I didn't want to review a pepper like that on the plant. I wanted to get, pick one off and let it fully ripen. And that's basically what we did here. Now, this is pretty much ripe all the way. All right. I'm not sure what lighting's better for you. Or you can see it there a little better. All right. So I just wanted to, uh, you know, give you a good image of that. All right. So anyway, uh, let's uh, turn you around and give that a go. All right, here we are. We're back with another pod review for you guys today, and it's going to be on this pepper right here, and this is called the Ahi Malacatan. Um, uh, last year, I grew a, a a pepper very similar to this. It was called the Ahi Boliv, or I called it the uh, Bolivian Cream, because I ordered a pack of seeds for the Bolivian Orange, and orange, yellow, and cream came out of it. So. I wanted to make sure that these peppers were what I thought they were. And it turns out I ordered the Ahi Malacatan, which is what I ordered these as. And they're pretty much the same exact thing. So it, and it probably is the same exact thing. That's how we ended up with this. But I did a pod review on it, on it last year under the name Bolivian Cream. But this year we're going to do a pod review on, under the name of Ahi Malacatan. Because that's how I got these seeds. So that's it right here. Let's... Uh, I'm going to bite that end off because it did over-ripen a little bit too much. So let me just bite that off. It was probably fine. I just... you got to watch with some of these peppers. They get black on the inside. You don't know it until you're eating it. So there it is. Let's give that a bite. Mmm. That's very nice. All right, so let's go over the flavor, and then we'll touch base on the heat. Okay, so as far as the flavor goes, it has a, a background type of ahi flavor, or bacadam flavor, if you will. It has a typical flavor, but this one, because of the peachness to it, it does add an extra layer of overtone to it, and that overtone is a slight peachy type flavor. It's a very nice effect. That peachy flavor over that ahi flavor is very, very nice. This pepper does exhibit that. It has a very nice steady flavor. It doesn't necessarily like disappear right away. The flavor kind of hangs around a little bit. And you can still savor it. I'm going to take another bite. Mm. 
I also want to point out, too, there's a little bit of sweetness on this. That might be because I really let these ripen up for a while on my table, so they, all that greenness on it is gone. Uh, can you eat these if they're green? Yeah, you could. They're just not very tasty like that. It's not like a bell pepper. Bell peppers, you could eat green or you could eat them when they're ripe. With these kind of peppers, you want to let them ripen. They don't, you could pickle them green, but I don't know. I, I wait until they ripen. Um, so that's really it with the flavor. Now, as far as the heat goes, this particular Bacadam burn, it's a little bit more aggressive than my typical Bacadam or Ahi type burns that I'm usually explaining. Um, this one's a little bit more hot in the front of the tongue. The very tip of the tongue is really getting uh, like aggressively heated up. Whereas the other parts of my mouth are generally like glowing warm. It's not like an aggravating, stinging, aggressive, you know, Chianti type burn. It's a very warm, glowing, very pleasant type burn. But it's a weird kind of a burn. It's very, um, it feels like it's a, you know, like the only way I can describe this kind of burn is like a warm, glowing type of type of burn. I can't really explain it any other way. But it does have a, a, a pretty good burn like an ahi. Now, as far as uh, what would I call it in scope wise, it's generally low. This one's probably under 10,000. Uh, I'd probably say maybe this particular one. I'd say around 5,000 Scovilles on this particular one. Sometimes you might hit these where I'll hit 10, maybe 12,000. In general, it's it's not a very hot type of um, Bacadam. In general, in my opinion, in my experience, most Bacadams aren't super hot anyway. They they tend to be a lower type of a burn. So, I, I mean, I can't really say most of the Bacadams that I grow or tested really would test anything over, say, 20,000, maybe 30,000. That would be like the high end of the Bacadam burns, in my opinion, of course. Um, but I, I've never had any Bacadams like come in like a, you know, like a, like a habanero burn or anything like that. N nothing at that level. All the Bacadam burns that I get are generally, um, they're generally pretty mild, smooth, or a glowing burn. And that's exactly what this is. It's a, it's a very mild, smooth, and easy glowing type of burn. It's a really nice pepper. Uh, to grow. I'm going to probably grow this out again next year. I might grow my grow this one and then grow my Bolivian side by side and then maybe we can look at them together and we can see you know if there's any differences or not but they're pretty much as far as I'm concerned the exact same thing and like I said earlier I will separate the listings for that in case you want to specifically buy the uh, Ahi Malacatan uh, variety and you don't want the Bolivian cream you, you can pick out the one that you want all right so all right, so that's really it for the uh, pod review on the Ahi Malacatan. I guess um, what I'll do is whatever information I get for the Ahi Malacatan, I'll put in the description below. And I'll also leave a link in the description below where you can go over to hrseeds.com and pick up your seeds if you decide that you want to give this a grow. But other than that, that's really it for this pod review. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you on the next one. Take care.